Hi, this is Carl the Landscape Guy. The oldest way of paving is with natural stone pavers. On my construction site, we are currently laying traditional segment arches made of porphyry. I hope you enjoy this video as I show and explain the exact method of how to lay them. Before starting to lay any stones, we have to make sure that the base layer is all set, just like under any other paved area. We have prepared our 30 cm thick base layer of 0 to 32 mm mineral gravel. The edging is made of porphyry cobblestones, which are set into concrete with a concrete back support. On the base layer, the natural stone can be laid directly in a bedding of crushed sand. We use crushed sand 0 to 5 mm. The reddish brown porphyry is a volcanic rock and is mined from quarries mainly in Italy. The segmental arch used here is a traditional natural stone laying pattern and it can be used for small paths, public squares or even on roads. Here we are redesigning the city park in Herborn, Germany and we are using small pavers sized 9 to 11 centimeters. The main challenge for the worker is setting these segmental arches, which requires an experienced eye to choose the right stone. The main principle of the segmental arch is the merging of several arched sections. In contrast to the scale arch, the rows of stones are not laid separately, but with two segmental arches sharing one end stone. First, the field width is determined. Following the rule of thumb that the stitch height results from a fifth of the field width plus one centimeter. Depending on the stone size, recommended dimensions for field width and stitch heights vary. The laying of the stones is carried out from the middle of the arch towards the outside edge. The stone width increases from the inside to the outside. Using trapezoidal stones helps to form even grouts. The arches should always hit the edging at a 90 degree angle. In the middle of the field width, the direction should be checked regularly with the string parallel to the edging. The sand bed isn't compacted too much prior to laying because the pavers are set with a special paving hammer by hand. Joint spacing for small pavers like these should be at 6 to 10 millimeters.
Each stone is set about one third into the sand. If one section is finished, the grout should be filled up to at least two thirds with sand. Due to the coarse surface of the natural stones, we are setting the stones at a higher slope than for smooth concrete block surfaces to have rainwater flow off the surface. Our transfer slope is at least 3%. When calculating the final pavement height, keep in mind that the surface will still be compacted So we set the stones about 2 cm higher than the edging and existing areas. In the middle of the small city park, the architect has planned a traditional windrose. It's made from basalt stones, with the same stone size as the porphyry. The small square was built from the outside edge with the porphyry in circles. Then the workers created the 6 meter wide wind rows, without cutting any stones, only with the use of their hammers. The dark basalt color forms a nice contrast and looks very good, especially from the bird's eye view. So now I hope this video was informative and helpful. It is created with the kind support of Balzer Landscape Incorporation as well as Rizionelli Natural Stoneworks. You'll find more information in the video description. Please also visit our channel. There are many videos on landscaping projects. Please support us by liking, subscribing or sharing. Thank you very much for watching and for your kind support. See you next time, I'm Carl the Landscape Guy.